All right, and a good Sunday to you. Uh, welcome to another episode of uh, JD's Deep Cut Sunday Tracks. Again, where we're going to delve into obscure, long forgotten uh, music, uh, songs, albums, uh, talk a little bit about, about uh, you know, the albums, the songs, um, bring them back to life, okay? Um, Again, if you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead and check out my videos. I have a few up there. Um, getting more, getting more. Okay. Uh, like, and sub like and subscribe. Sorry about that. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, please comment. Uh, give your comments. Give your take. Uh, questions, uh, thoughts Okay, are welcome. And again, I appreciate it. Um, all right. So I hope you're having a good Sunday. Um, kind of a cool one today. Uh, summer's coming up, okay? Um, well, coming up, we're in summer. <laughs> but um, haven't really had those scorching ones yet. Maybe here and there. Um, I'm not inland, so that's a good thing, I guess. Okay, I know inland could get a little, a little hot. Uh, a little scorching, like they say. All right. All right, so uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, my first one. Um, a lot of firsts for this one. Okay, I like this one because it's a lot of firsts. Um, my first uh, Beatles-related uh, album and songs. Okay, um, my first uh, label uh, release. Okay, this album was the first album released on this uh, particular label we're going to be talking about. Um, and the first uh, member of this band that went to solo, okay? We're talking about George Harrison, okay? George Harrison and his Wonderwall music album. Uh, very, very uh, unique album, very different. Um, wouldn't expect the first solo album to be an instrumental, okay? Uh, Wonderwall music, okay? This album is uh, very different, okay? Let me take it out of the clear sleeve so you can take a look at it. Uh, this is a first pressing, 1968. Okay, uh, this album is uh, is an instrumental. Okay, uh, George Harrison wrote this album for uh, for the movie Wonderwall. Okay, uh, it was a soundtrack. Um, okay, so he wrote the the music. Okay, very different album. Okay, don't expect. Uh, of course, we're talking about uh, long and obscure lost tracks and albums. You know, don't expect your hits here, your pop music. Um, it's a very, very uh, fan, uh, devotee. Um, I love it. I really love this album. It has a lot of great instrumentation. It has a lot of Indian musicians on there. Um, it has uh, guests, you know, Eric Clapton guests on a, on, a, on a song. So the song is Skiing. That's the song we'll be talking about. Uh, Skiing was... Uh, an instrumental played by, uh, of course, Mr. Harrison. Eric Clapton contributed some guitar, guitar leads. Ringo Starr was uh, playing some drums. Okay. Um, again, he wrote this album for the soundtrack to Wonderwall. It's a movie. Okay. Um, it was his debut album. It was the first solo album by a Beatle. And then uh, the first to be released on the Beatles Apple label. Okay, Apple Records. So pretty interesting there. Okay, you wouldn't think uh, George would be the one to set off and do his his solo album, right? Um, after all, he did. Uh, I don't know. I feel like he was uh, hovered over by the two the two uh, monsters, you know, John and Paul. <laughs> they would always only give him one song or two, maybe, on each album. Uh, he's a great, great uh, songwriter great musician uh i think sometimes people forget how great of a of an artist and musician george harrison was may he rest in peace okay um i love i love his his solo stuff uh of course i love john lennon was always my favorite but i don't know george george might be coming up there you know coming up um equaling um uh, i mean you gotta love them all you know paul was just more uh you know just contemporary a little bit more uh not as uh, aggressive on the music, not as uh, edgy, you know, uh, John was always the, the more edgy one, um, the more uh, took dares, you know, took uh, chances, 
Paul was the more, you know, a little bit more contemporary, more calm. I love Wings, though. Don't get me wrong. I love Wings. His Wing era stuff, I love that, I love that, that stuff. Um, his solo stuff, I mean, yeah, it's, 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 you can't, you can't put it down. I mean, it's Paul McCartney in the end. But when he, the Wing stuff he did, amazing, awesome. I love that. Um, but George Harrison, you got to check out George Harrison's solo stuff and check out this album, his first, uh, his first solo effort, okay? Um, but skiing, check out that song. I'll put the link up there so you can check it out. Again, you got a lot of eclectic, uh, exotic instrumentation. You got the sitar, you know, you got the plan bash, you got the uh, tabla going on there. Again, don't expect your nice dance music or pop or rock and roll. Uh, it's very, uh, very experimental, you know, very, um, very uh, eclectic uh music you know um it's all instrumental you got some vocalization but it's more like uh hums and you know ohms you know stuff like that it's different it's different i appreciate it i mean i, I love listening to different things um it's almost uh has the electronic elements in there you know 1968 so can you imagine uh you know the music he, he came out with on his first album um but yeah, it's uh, it's more of a world experimental, uh, psychedelic, even a little bit there. Um, but again, you gotta listen to this album from start to finish. You know, put on side one, turn it over side two to appreciate it. You know, okay. Um, it's for it's it's more like a musician's uh, fandom. You know, fanatic. You know, um, but uh, I think uh, George uh, should have got a little bit more more due. I mean, he did, but. You know, it's always Paul and John, you know, even Ringo, you know, did his thing. But um, but George, you know, his guitar, great, amazing guitar player, I think, um, you know, he uh, wasn't your uh, fast, you know, lead guitarist, you know, he's just very melodic, very uh, great sound, great tone on his guitar, smooth, of course. Um, you could hear it on this album, very little, not too much going on on the guitar, but but you could hear it. Um, Eric Clapton, you know, his buddy came in as well. Um, another interesting anecdote, uh, Oasis, uh, the song Wonderwall. Um, they were inspired by this album's title, you know, Wonderwall Music, Wonderwall. Um, they do admit that, which is good. I mean, you know, you gotta give credit where credit is due, right? Um, but check, check it out. Check out Wonderwall Music by George Harrison. He was a big fan of movies. I think he bought some of the rights to the Monty Python and the Holy Grail stuff. Uh, pretty interesting, uh, you know, uh, movies there. Um, he was always very, uh, very, uh, used a lot of imagery in his music titles, you know, very, uh, the aesthetics were important. You know, uh, the album All Things Must Pass is, is a great example of uh, all of the imagery he uses on the album, you know, the pictures, the you know the palaces the the mansions and the, the pics are amazing with the gargoyles and the, you know all that stuff okay um all right so uh i hope uh you check this out um george harrison wonderwall music check out the song skiing and i'll put the i'll put the link up there okay uh, let me know what you think uh i want to see people's take on on this one okay all right, so keep having a good Sunday, and I'll see you on the next one.